We're very pleased to have with us tonight the warden of the penitentiary where Truman has been conducting his research. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please welcome Warden Foster Brooks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Mar Mr. Martin. <laughs> Incidentally, your Uncle Rocco sends his best regards. <laughs> I've gotten to know Truman Capote. Oh, Capote. <laughs> I've gotten to know Truman Capote very, very well. Every week he comes to my prison and, and talks to my... Uh, to, uh, he talks to... What do you, what do you, what do you call them? Those fellows dress up like zebras? Uh, <laughs> you were warning too? <laughs> All of the pr prisoners have grown very f fond of Truman. And they really love his book, <laughs> especially since we've been having a shortage of supplies in the washrooms. <laughs> <laughs> now, it doesn't matter whom <laughs> Truman is interviewing a mugger, mugger, <laughs> an arsonist, a murderer, murder. Murdered, murdered, murderer. <laughs> he always asks very searching and penetrating questions. Like, if you had your life to live over, would you live it as a blonde? <laughs> But Truman Capote is not only interested in reporting the fact, he has a deep humanitarian <laughs> interest in the rehabilitation <laughs> of all types of criminals. I once asked him what he thought I should do for my pimps. <laughs> He told me I should try clear a sale. <laughs> 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 